welcome. This is a quick, what do you do if you're not at your computer and you need a thumbnail quick? And it has to be complicated and match the style that you've been using. I had that very same thing happen this week. And it was for my multi-layer multi thumbnail that I use for my weekly intros. So let's get to it and I'll show you how I did it. First, we're gonna pretend that we don't have the multi-layer because this computer was all in pieces. Go to YouTube. We want to do YouTube. We do need to go and get into my studio. This is the thumbnail that we used after we finished making it on the other, but I'm gonna show you how it was made. Go to content, and seeing as it is a camping video, I go to my last camping video, which is not week 17, not 17. It's, where is it hiding? Oh yeah, it's alive, that's why. <laughs> it's late. I've already done this video once, and gremlins were at work because I had no sound. We go full screen, and we do a screen capture. This is Fast Stone Capture. This is what I use for my screen capture. So I go all the way up in the upper left, one and one, and I come all the way down to the lower right. Now what I'm gonna have to get rid of is this part here. The 21, I'm gonna move over on top of the 16, and this will move over here, and I'll get rid of this line the fastest that I can. Here we go. First we go back up here. We import from clipboard because that's where we know it is. Then we go to paint.net, which is my favorite photo editing program. And now we're gonna make it a little smaller. Reposition it. And try to do things as fast as possible. Well, it, First, we need to save it. File save as. We are going to call this Gremlins. Why are we gonna call it Gremlins? Because Gremlins have been at play with me this week. We are doing thumbnail, thumb channel, 15 minute, and we're gonna to try to keep this under 15 minutes this time. Gremlins. and we are going to save it in paint.net format. Now let's get serious. That's too big. That's too small. Best to get a good cut on your first slice here because this really makes a big difference. And we're gonna go copy and paste in a new layer. So edit, paste in a new layer. There. And we're mostly done. Now let's go back down to here. And we'll go back in and touch things up as we go along here. We'll just go like this. Go like that. Copy it. Bring it up to the other layer, that's what I'm doing with the mouse over here is I'm switching layers. And then we just, seeing as one layer is over the top of the other, line it up as best we can. We can't do the same thing over here, so we go in. This needs to be a little bit more precise on this one. And we go like this. First we change our layer come back. We're going to drag this whole section down over this. I actually just extend the whole thing over. That looks good. Copy. And it really doesn't matter that much when we're talking about this because this is such a small area here. Now with this, we go like this, that, we're gonna take, take a sample of this, then we're gonna 
go back up to here and what that sample was for was so that I could fill in fill color whoops wrong way all right let's try this again here we come around oh that's why because I didn't do the last Sue select like I said it's been a long day I was wondering why I wasn't getting this straight line that I'm looking for right now. And then we go fill and we'll make sure we're on the layer and not on the actual, so that if we make any mistakes, we can easily cover it up. Now we come back and here we're going to, all right, so that's kind of the same thing. We are going to sample a little bit of goodness here. And lasso select. Did I go back? I didn't, did I? Sorry about that. Haste makes waste, but we're trying to keep it under 15 minutes. Lasso select, come up. And we take our little paint can and we fill that spot. Oops, yeah, that's right. Done, that's good enough. All right, so that's part of that. Might as well deal with this line too. How much of this can we sneak? Probably 90% of it. Let's see how that looks. Go down on a layer. Now one thing I'll, sh I'll show you at the next slice that we'll do where you can actually be off by a bit. All right, so we copy that, come up, paste, drag it down. And we can probably pull it over a little bit too. Maybe not. Okay. Make it bigger and shrink it a little bit so that the other lines line up a little bit better. This is the line I want to get fixed. So I go. How about we move pixels? Maybe that'll make it so that I can, I'm trying to switch between, make that hand go away and change it to an actual movement thing. Doesn't look like, all right, come on, go just a little teeny bit. All right, well, there, yeah, that ought to be enough. Let's go over and see if it's lined up anymore. Hmm. There's more than one way to skin a cat. All right, so we go like this. Seeing as we're on the layer, we can be very, uh, whatchamacallit, careless. Just, just cut it. Actually paste it. And then we just drag her over. And then, come on, stretch out a little bit. Get a little bit more. All right, so we go like this. Go copy. I didn't mean to actually delete it out last time. There we go. Now things line up better. And we minus, minus, minus. Things are there. Now all this is such a um, small area and it's just gonna change so minutely on the, uh, when you see it bigger, smaller, I mean. Back to background. Not that close. All right. OK. 
copy that, copy, paste, bring it up. So it just kind of erases everything there. And let's get really crazy over here all the way to here and oh good I got an opportunity to show you how you can okay I am in layer two I really want to copy from background so all I have to do is move to the background and copy in my uh, my selection doesn't change so now we've copied and we can go up here up to layer two again and just move it right up there you go that's how you make a quick thumbnail and it was not as quick but this is my third time doing this oh I forgot one spot sorry about that we're not done all right, so let's pull back my layers so I can see it, make sure I'm on the right layer. Layer, layer, layer. Okay, that'll work. Delete that. Delete that, and that little fine line doesn't really matter, but what, why not? Now we're done, except we haven't made it finalized. We need to save the gremlin, the paint.net, because you always want to save your paint.net one first. So we're saving, well, I didn't want to print it, I hit File save is what I want. All right, so we've saved it. Uh, PNG first, because that's higher resolution than a JPG. PNG, so we got PNG. Save, flatten. And we don't go backwards on this one. We just save as and then we just go to JPEG because JPEGs are flat anyways. They would have just one layer. So we just save it as a JPEG. Done. Now we go to the folder. Now granted, okay, this is what it looks like before we started doing our work. Exit full screen. Now we, and there's the drives, those new drives. That's why I didn't have access to my computer. I had to use my other computer. Here we are. Same thumbnail a million times. Here's the actual original, and we are viewing them. Let's see, extra large icons. So they're nice and small, but extra large. This is week 16, 2020, camp week. Okay, I couldn't change the, the pose. I didn't have time for that, and I didn't have the layering for that at, at the time. So here we are, week 20, gremlins, gremlins. Here's the, the paint.net file, the PNG file, and the JPG file. I try to load the PNG first, and then if I'm on a site that doesn't take PNG, then I have a JPEG ready to go. That's it, thumbnail, quick and easy. How to do a complex thumbnail in less than 15 minutes. Cheat, a thumbnail, cheat back, whatever. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And here's some more videos to watch.